Today I'm going to show you how to go through the process of drawing a portrait and how are we looking into shapes. As you can see here on the left side you have a, a portrait. So it's very terrifying looking at a white space. Jump into it. So start just putting big shapes here without corrections. And see here the line on the top for the head and, and then it goes down here and I see a face like coming down there's hair this is nothing accurate and shoulder the hair comes in here and then it goes to this way. I'm just trying to put things in the same space. So as you get to this point, you start to break things down from large ones into a small ones. So what we do, we put the the skull here and and looking at the picture it looks like the camera is from the top so it's showing more from the head part here okay so let's say skull is here this is the circle and the face is turning to the right, so the center line can be here. You have to go with the skull. And it goes down. OK. Now I have to find the turn. Let's. Uh, Let's say that's assuming the distance from here, from the top of the head to the end of the hair, where the hair starts, that should be, as I can see it, it's halfway. So they're the same distance from the top of the hair to where the hair goes down. It's the same from the top to the chin. So let's, uh, let's just put a, a line here. This is the shapes what I'm talking about is looking at. When you see here, the ear and also the hair behind it, there is a distance. So that shape goes like that and and you know just isolate those parts it's all about putting all these pieces together to form it's a puzzle and you put them all together to create all these features put in one place so the hair hairline here there's a curve in it Okay, and that curve here and with the other side. And this is the hair split. This is nothing, looks like a face now, but we're just gonna go through it and then we can correct things. Let's say This is where the eye is going to go. This is the forehead side. We want to 
first like uh, accomplish uh, something that it looks like a looks like a face and then we correct things as we go along okay now if the eyes like that the nose should be in this area and the mouth should be somewhere here and the chin is here it's not final position but we just put things here just to to make us work or something. Line, jawline, and here was connect to the ear. Hair comes out from here. Okay. There's some little side of the neck I see here, and a little triangle here between the the blouse or the clothing to close the neck and here the hair comes down like that okay and let's put something here to just to close that area all right, so first we have uh, to assess everything from the top. Think th that area is shorter here, the distance, than what I have. So let's go shorter here, shrink the size. This is goes follow the line, the direction of the hair goes like that. Okay. Now managing the distances from here to here. We'll get to it. First, let's correct things. The position of the face top is okay let's see how things are gonna go down for the face all right I see the area here that I have is smaller it's lower where the eyes are Hair connects to the ear. Uh, let's see. Put it here. The eye. This is what I'm looking at the shapes. This is what I see the eye, how it looks like. It is this shape. It's like a wing. And cheekbone comes from this area. And goes down. The nose bridge
Now, the second, second eye, and you have to follow the same line, it goes in here. So the second eye, what I see is just a big triangle. Uh, be careful here, so, so because you have a space here between between the hairline and where the second eye should be, and the second eye should be bigger because the foreshortening that exists right now, because the face is turning that way. Okay. Now it's a started to look like a face but again we will correct this as we go along uh, there's a top here like a triangle and go down like that I believe this eye should be smaller and the distance here should be bigger. So we can erase some. And lower it down. You can cover it for now. You see the structure? It's really simple. You just create simple shapes first. And you move down here to connect to the nose bridge. And I see shadow here. And there is shadow and goes this way. This line here for the forehead, I think you need to be curved, not super straight. So. where your hair other side connect okay the nose all right let's say this is where it's gonna be placed it's gonna look weird for a little bit we draw the shadow of the nose because you don't need to draw every line in the nose itself and uh, sorry for the thunder start raining okay you can see it uh, from here start to look like something the shadow area here and the other shadow area from this side there's a little area here where you can see light simplify it by a little patch can see the nose 
shadow goes to the lower lip, to the top lip, so, sorry. And there's a shadow comes down. This area here, it's a little bit closer. to the shadow area, this distance. And also there's shadow connects to the other side. So looking at shapes is important. It try to see what, what's that shadow shape looks like. Because if you look at the nose shadow shape, it looks like this. And when you cover it, we'll put some shade. It will give you a shape of nose. So that's it. It is important to recognize how it's actually shaped. I'm not looking at a nose right now. I'm looking at dark spot with white spot. And I try to get their shapes correctly. So it helps me uh, form it. Comes down to the lips. And there's a shadow comes down. This goes down like that. And there's this angle of the lips. The upper lip is darker, so try to create the shape of it. I don't see the other side of the lower lip, but I can see the left side, which is comes from here. And we put just marks here. Don't do a harsh lines because it can be incorrect. So now shadow area, and this area in, in the chin, Look at it. I'm looking at it and it's like oval shaped but it's squished. So that will determine the chin. Now the chin just goes this way and there's a curve here. Uh, the shadow under the chin it's a little bit complex area but simplify it just if you squint this is all shadow okay let's put all the shadow area here Let's cover it all. And it goes like that. And I see here some shadow to create the difference between the jawline and the neck. Okay, the hair starts from where the nose just create a shape. You don't need to draw every hair here. This is the beginning of it. So this stage, 
we try to just put things this is dark this is the dark area I don't know what's going on here but I can't tell there's a hair but, and, and there's shadow shadow area here okay I've noticed something because this is this is a small so I'm gonna increase it from the top and the bottom okay so we go up here I, th I think even the the hair split it will be kind of like that now this hair split do you see that shape goes the hair like this that's how the hairline and if you notice this curve a little bit in the hair it's it's fall on top of uh, the eye the beginning of this eye here okay Now, this area here, I'm, I am increasing because this should be almost, yeah, so it can be bigger. Hmm. I think it's uh, better make it bigger it looks better so the same thing we increase the size So, we'll put the, now, where the ear gonna go, if you follow this curve of the entire face, if you hear the top of it and the lower section, we follow that with the bottom of the nose. There's a little gap here where the hair and the back of the neck. see a line 
like that and a straight line and you connect it to create the nose and this is where the hair connects so let's erase this area here where the, where the ear is Okay, 